So today it's the rear lights. Uh, I took off this old Chinese rubbishy one and I've put on these two ORE really nice and bright ones. I think it looks great. Pretty good. So either if you've got lights installed or you're installing them for the first time, it's always good to go for a pre-made loom like this one I've got here. It comes with the relay included, the switch and the connectors and everything you need to wire in the lights. I'm going to use bits and pieces for today because mine are already wired in, but uh, that's really handy just to be able to plug and play just like that. So this is how it comes. Obviously stainless steel mount and bolts there, pretty handy, easy peasy. And there's the light, nice and easy. Look at that. It's not blue. Well, you could have it blue if you want, I guess, but there's the protective cover. It's always a good feeling. Really look at that. Um, and there, just as I said before, you've got the connector there, that you can unplug, and that will plug straight into the loom we were showing you before, just like that. Waterproof, so if you ever want to remove the lights or the loom, you don't have to cut any soldering out, so that's pretty handy. I much prefer the look of this sort of narrow design. A, it looks better, and B, when you turn it, you can adjust it, the wire comes out the back rather than pulling the wire and all that sort of thing. Just looks better, symmetrical both sides because I've got two, and uh, hopefully a lot more durable and brighter. So obviously these come with connectors as you can see, uh, really handy if you want to be taking them on and off, but I don't. And also I'm going to wire it through the cab and out through a hole, so you have to be able to thread it through. So I'm going to cut it like this, and obviously strip it and uh, solder it into the existing wiring. So got the negative and the positive there, and uh, that'd be nice and easy to thread through, and then wire in. And so here you've got the mounting bracket, and obviously down here you've got all of the stainless hardware. Um, this is the little bolt to mount it on. You want to thread that through and then obviously that goes on there. And then you use the hardware to mount it. Put the bolt through there obviously and the nut on the end and then the spring washer there. Uh, I find it's easier to put the two washers in between so that you, when you pivot it, um, it obviously has a nice bit of travel rather than wearing through the paint. So on that one there, we obviously had the old one, this rust, rusty old, <laughs> full of water rubbish one. This time though, unfortunately there's no holes, so we've had to measure it out and make sure it's in a similar position to the other one and uh, use the appropriate drill bit to drill a new hole. And then after that, I'm gonna drill another one so the wire can go in and uh, be wired up. So this is the wire coming out of the back of the light and I now need to drill a hole. Um, a sort of cheaty way of seeing what size the hole should be, you can use a, a, a drill bit set and you can measure the hole on there. I think this one might be a bit, you have to just remember that the drill bit's a bit bigger. You could try that one first, that looks good to me. So this is a 6.5, let's drill the hole. A uh, little tip I'd say is to do this up on the bench because it's quite hard to do up once it's on the truck. Uh, so get it up nice and tight and then you don't have to adjust it again. So we've got the two holes here. Obviously you want to do the cable first so you don't have to mess around after. Thread that through just loosely and then the other one goes through there. Uh, you've got the bigger washer on the back followed by the sprung washer and then the nylock which is a 13mm. Uh, just does up from the back nice and easy which is good. So on the old hole, which I couldn't uh, size up myself, uh, it's a bit loose around the wire and I can imagine water sort of coming down the wire and then into the cab. So I've got Dum Dum, which is sort of a, a sort of black blue tack type thing. And you just put it around the cable to cover up the hole. And it's sort of a putty that never sets, but does go a little bit hard. And that'll just seal it up there. You know, not the neatest, but not everything on Boris is the neatest, so it's looking pretty good and that just stopped the rain from coming in. And I'll do the same on the other one, but not nearly as much. That would just keep the weather out a little bit. So if you do want to use a loom, uh, mine already had one, so I didn't need to use it this time. What you want to do, first things first, you've got the fuse built in. This is a 30 amp, that'll be enough for the two better lights. And um, that's just in line. 
you can attach it to the positive and negative of the battery here like these two are just bolt it in those two next you've got the relay and that is the main sort of switch for it that can uh, bolt through this little bit at the back to anywhere in the battery bay there then you run this cable either inside the cab if you want or out through the hole underneath and then into the dash this will be the switch to control the rear lights or you can obviously go for a switch of your choice but uh, that's a nice and neat one and it will light up as well uh, after that what you want to do is uh, drill some holes in the battery box somewhere and run it up the side of the seat through the roof panel and to the back of the car and that's where these two uh, connectors will go for the lights which will plug right in you might see that you need to add an extension on so you can obviously cut add some wire in and then uh, plug the lights in as you want to but I just uh, wire them in myself uh, but if you want to use the loon you can and it's a really good easy way to do it so here we've got the wire coming from the dash with the switch and here's the new light wire what we need to do is use a length and wire this and this together and then another one into the new light on the other side uh, pretty easy I'm gonna just gonna solder them together and heat shrink but you just need to strip them wire back and uh, attach them together It's all wired up now, mounted up to, we've done everything, the only thing to do now is test it, so let's give it a try. So there you go, all finished, really nice easy job and uh, looking really cool. I've just been uh, getting some shots of these and the more I look at them the more I like them. One of the things I've noticed is that is a benefit of sort of having one on each side is that you can have one facing out and then you can have this one either facing down at what you're doing or down at the ground when you're reversing so you can have the option to have both like uh, facing down or up or one of each and it's much easier to adjust because the cable on the other one actually came off sort of a higher angle so it, it pulled it out of here every time so on these it's really nice you can adjust it and you can even bring them right down if you want to make them a bit smaller but Look at that, so bright as well, unbelievably bright. These are from ore4x4.co.uk, go check them out there. Good bright lights, look good and work well. Can't wait to get them tested at night. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>